What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. I'm your host Robbie, and in this video we're going to be covering filtering in Shopify. So this has been a highly requested video and one that I've kind of been dodging because I don't like filtering in Shopify. It's never been fun and it's always been kind of kind of weak in what they allow you to do up until recently. So they recently expanded upon it and it's a whole lot better now. So I'm going to show you the legacy way that it was done and then I'm going to show you the new way that it's done. And uh, I hope you like this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll get into it right now. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you the old school way of filtering, and this is just for informational purposes. It's not recommended anymore. But right here, I got a basic collection page, and I'm just on slash collection slash all. And yeah, say I wanted to filter this list, uh, you could only do it on tags. So say I wanted products tagged with shirt, I would just add slash shirt to the URL. And now I got all the products tagged with shirt. And say I want products tagged with shirt and also men, I could add plus men. And now I got shirts uh, that are tagged with shirt and also men. And that's all you could do. There's no way to add any logic to it or do anything more advanced. So say I wanted, say, products that are either blue or red, it's impossible to do it. There's no way to do or uh, with this method. So this is how filtering was for years in Shopify, probably 10 years up until recently. And uh, yeah, in the past, you had to depend on third-party apps, and there's a bunch of them. And they kind of just gave you a big monstrosity of a page that was hard to customize, and they often wouldn't work with other third-party apps, so I wouldn't recommend using any of those. And um, yeah, you'd basically just build an interface that would modify the URL and redirect the user. Um, but yeah, they completely kind of reworked filtering as of recently and it's a whole lot better now. There's a whole new language you can add to the URL where you can do less than, greater than, this, that. It's a lot better. And they added an app that kind of aids with it. So we have the Shopify search and discovery app and it's super easy to use. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So let's go. All right, so good news guys, the new filtering method is much easier to use and uh, significantly better. So I'll link this page in the video description, but here's the documentation page for storefront filtering. And if you scroll down on this page, they give you a big snippet right here. And we can actually just copy this entire snippet. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then we can add this to our collection template. So let's go in VS Code and uh, I'm on my collection template. I'm just going to paste it right below my sorting select box right there hit save and now we're ready to use the search and uh, what do they call it search and discovery app so if you open up the app you can just scroll down and go to customize collection and search filters go to view filters and then you can go to add filters and now we just add what we want users to be able to filter based on so let's go availability price and color hit save and uh, that's pretty much it. Now we can go back to our storefront and we're on the collection page right here. And if I refresh, it's gonna show those filters that we just added. So now I can go, hey, just give me products that are in stock and apply. And then I go, hey, price, actually, I just want products that are $50 or cheaper. Hit apply. And I go, hey, you know what? Actually, just give me products that are matte black or red. And it's gonna do all that. And uh, yeah, it gives you a cool little area. These would look like tags if they're styled with little X's next to them. But you can just click the X to clear a filter that you applied. So say I didn't want red anymore, I can get rid of that. Say I didn't want filter on color at all, I could click that. And say I just want to clear everything, there's a clear all button. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And if you want to filter based on meta fields, you can do that too. So let me show you that. So first we have to add some meta fields. So let's go to settings and we'll go to meta fields and then let's go product and let's add a definition. Let's just call it, I don't know, maybe the product is recycled material or something. Let's call it recycled and then uh, let's expose it and let's select the type. So let's just do true or false, hit save. And now let's go to our products and make some of them recycled. So maybe the blue shirt is the only recycled product. So we can go down here and select true and then save. And now uh, we should have that meta field available to us to filter based on. So let's go back to the app. And scroll down, go back to filters. Let's go edit filters. 
And now you can see we have the meta field down here, so we can add that. So we'll add a recycled filter. And now we can go back to our storefront and it should appear. And uh, did it work? So it might just take a second to appear, let's see. Oh, it's right here, recycled. So now I can go, yeah, give me recycled products and we get that blue shirt. So pretty neat and definitely a much better system. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to build something custom, it looks like it does just edit the URL. So you can maybe dig into that, uh, but that would be more advanced. And I think this snippet kind of handles what you would use it for. So if we do go to the code and take a look at it, it basically, it just loops through everything. So right here, it's just looping through all the active tags, I guess. And it's just building all those options for everything. So really, it's just a matter of styling this to your needs. And um, yeah, it's a nice short and sweet video, but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope maybe you didn't know about the filtering app and this helps you in some way. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the icon in the middle of the screen to subscribe. And there's a couple videos on the right for you to check out. Till next time, bye.